What happens when you build up fats, oil, and grease? If you answered pounds, you're right. This is pounds of untreated raw sewage draining into our sewer system properly. But this is untreated sewage getting backed up in our sewer pipes. Raw sewage that could flow onto the streets and into our ocean. I've heard some horrific stories. The sewer lines plugged up and just backing up into the sewer system, into the streets. A lot of times that will get into the gutters, sometimes into the catch basins, and unfortunately sometimes it can lead to the beach. Built up fats, oils, and grease, also known as fog, caused more than 20 sewer overflows in Long Beach in 2010. When the Long Beach Water Department instructed me that I had a problem, I was in denial. I'm sure that there are restaurants that use grease more than we do and gets into the sewer lines and uh, creates a problem, creates havoc. When fats, oil, and grease are poured into the sink, they eventually begin to stick to the sides of the pipe. Over time, as more and more fog accumulates, it can start to clog the inside of the pipeline. If it gets bad enough, fog can completely block a city pipe, preventing any sewer flow through the pipe. Once this happens, sewer flows have nowhere to go but up, most often overflowing through a manhole and then heading downstream to the nearest storm drain. Once in the storm drain system, this unsanitized raw sewage then makes its way into the ocean, which can cause major public health issues and pollution. <coughs> From the cleanup, it can start off at $20,000, and the city will tack 35% on that. And when that happens, these guys have to do the dirty work. This is another heavy grease area, and you can see that the grease is built up all the way around the pipe, and it's actually blocking the hammer from doing its inspection. If sewage should happen to get into the ocean, there's really no way of recovering. We cannot disinfect the ocean completely. And there are many types of fog that you may not be aware of. Cooking oil, butter, margarine, lard, bacon, steak fat, meat and cheese and yogurt, different sauces, gravies, salad dressing, deep fried dishes like french fries. So here's how you can keep fog out of your system, out of your sewer system, that is. We like to practice BMP, best management practices. You cannot put grease in your sinks. Wipe out your pots and pans, put the paper towels in your trash, pour your grease in the can, and dispose it in the trash. Now for restaurants, they have to have a device, a interceptor or a grease trap. They can vary from prices from $200 to $3,000. So do not put grease in your sink and wash it down to our main. I appreciate that.